Greetings everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues in which we are playing as Kaiser's Legion last time. We had a slight difficulty, but ultimately, eventually, some of a success, some sort of success against the Hoover Dam, which was very peculiar, which we will address in a little bit. We got quite a few comments to go through. Lanius is doing a great against the Black Sun. But what are we doing right now? Well, let's double check. Are we justifying anyone? Yes, the Pecos Colony, which we you know, hopefully will take out eventually. Ooh, yeah. Let's go ahead and set up some guys over there. Why not? How about we do that? Cool. So, a couple comments. For example, to raid, someone recommended, or said in the comments of the last video, that you need to put soldiers on the border with whoever you want to raid. And then go from there. Obviously, right now, that not, might not be a good idea. We're kind of out of manpower. But that's okay. Ooh, scavengers drop a mighty step into the future. Cool. In the ruins of an ancient factory, our scavengers found pre-war goods. A caravan of trucks is bringing in the expedition's plunder back to Flagstaff. This is a great triumph for all of us. Ooh, planning and max planning for six months. Not bad. In which we will go here. We have to be at war to do that, which is totally fine. We got 50 political power. 50 political power? No, 50 men. Not bad. Let's see. Someone said, look at the focus tree for the dam before doing it. Well, I'm pretty sure for the dam... It's the Rubicon. There's no other... I don't think there's another focus tree here that lets us do it, because you have to have the Malpai like it there, Lucius is there for their own stuff, if they're because... The Cult of Vulcan, of course. Vulcan extremism. Ooh. Extremism. Sign me up. Cult of Mars. Perpetual War, of course. A God Among Men. Kaiser is healed. There was a Triumph, which obviously we can't do. Infiltrate the NCR, which we will do eventually. Raid camp searchlight, slay the decimation, stay this decimation, the legate's honor, Malpias gains glory. Oh, what the heck? Not burn man. Okay. Ooh, yeah, the burn man. We gotta do the burn man eventually. So there's nothing down there. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that we have. Volpus in cult of as a current leader. Uh, yeah. So you want to win? There's already there's a phoenix, and Kaiser has been healed, which actually looks really cool. Legionary training, legion training, centurion glory. Auxiliary Reliance. That's kind of cool. So yeah, that is the focus tree, I'm pretty sure, for the stuff. That's why it gives you plus 10% attack bonus. Yet we still lost no matter what. Raider Rumbles. Unfair Advantage versus the Brotherhood of Steel. Mapping the Dam. When you want to launch a Border War for the Dam, you get 10% bonus attack. So we technically got 20% bonus for the Dam attack, but we still lost because, as someone wrote in the comments as well, and what I was thinking, that is because we're on Historical. They're probably almost completely guaranteed to win, probably, if it's on historical, so that's why, that's what I'm thinking when it comes to that. Get more attack. That'd be good. Let's see Flagstaff. Thank you for leveling up some more. Level 6. Cool. Also, someone recommended I don't be on speed 5 so we can do more decisions. I mean, what? I mean, yeah, we can do stuff, uh, like, maybe send slaves to their military society is pretty worthless right now. Political actions, procurement of things, drastic measures, no. Manager of subjects, no, I'm not going to do that right now. Trade with the reservation, will do that. So, honestly, there's not a whole lot that we can do regarding decisions, even, like, on map. Yeah, we can invest in Flagstaff, which I'll probably do. But even then, like, there's not a whole lot of decisions for us to take. Oh, wait. Oh, we're really close to getting level 8. Nice. So... Uh, and the gun runners, there's another comment from yesterday saying that the gun runners are the ballistic weapons while the Van Graaffs were the really energy weapons. I for I'll be honest, like, sometimes I forget about stuff. As much as I play Old World Blues and love the mod, I just forget sometimes about stuff, so. Uh, growth, meh. Lift taxes. Mm, that might actually not be bad. We're building a lot of these roads, which, don't get me wrong, that's good and all, but. And we're doing, actually, we're doing extremely well on factories and stuff. Well. I would say extremely, but pretty darn well. We can make a few more, though. So, right now, we're going to make at least one of these, one thing of roads, as well as one thing of military factories. Finally, we're going to make some military factories. We're going to put them right here. And you are Golden Valley, which is right here. So, actually, you go up top. We're going to make you at the same time. I think that'd be good so we can build up some more roads as well. So, if we got a little bit of money, we could subsidize these people. Actually, that lowers their autonomy. Ooh, I didn't realize that. It makes sense, of course. But, oh, wrong group, wrong group, manage subjects. Well, a tributary, ooh, we might want to lower their autonomy. Their client state, yeah, we definitely want to lower their autonomy then. Ooh, I'm going to invest stimulus in flag stuff anyways. Nice. So hopefully we can get this a little higher too, much more quickly. So we can make even more money. And actually, let's go back to this. 
I would like to see... How's this coming along? 95. So basically, we can probably core them at this point. Do we want more manpower, or do we want to core these areas? 7,000 manpower, 7,000, 41,000. Ooh, that's not bad. So this place has no factories and no resources. This place has a few resources and one factory. This place would be better to do, but we need so much political power. Wow. Uh, and we were doing some stuff down here. Weapons of War, because we did go with the White Legs last time. Ooh, we can't do that one either for now, which is fine. The Hazdilwoli? I? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we should continue going down south, even though I do want to do this area, even though, at this point, doing the Malpaya Slugget glory stuff doesn't really matter. Let's get this one, though, so we get some more construction speed. The markets are two suns, and two suns as a gateway to the wealth of Mexico and prosperous in its own right from Santa Cruz River. Plus, the city is still home to arms dealers trading pre-war secrets. Not bad. Not bad at all. Actually, it would take 300 core of this territory, so which basically means that's 300 core of that territory. Wow. That's quite a bit. Tax breaks. I don't mind tax breaks, but mm. let's see. So we do have puppet ledger, of course, and organizations. Shop, shop. Not bad because we do have some motorcycles, which is not bad, but we don't have the money right now for it. Actually, we do have the money for it, but we don't have an opinion. We don't have an opinion. You know what? We could probably do this. Eventually, we can get even stuff down here. Would be bad. Eh, we can do it once. Let's do it once. There you go. Oh, we get. Ooh. That actually lowered the price, because we probably have a better opinion then. Current opinion is 14. Alright, not bad. Not bad, and do we have to wait to get that stuff? Probably. Door-mounted shotguns. Minus 50 opinion. Motor Modifier army subunit motorized attack factor, plus 5%. That sounds awesome. Door-mounted shotguns? Oh, sign me up. Alright, uh, let's do this one. Too many assume that the Legion spurns technology, but just because we are not relying upon it doesn't mean we don't use it. Our slaves work much better when they use heavy machinery instead of pickaxes, after all. Of course, of course. Let's see, and also, another comment from yesterday said, Ave true to Kaiser, so, absolutely. And actually, you guys are still training. Eh, you're basically all done training anyways. Caravan ambush and trade caravan delivering goods between settlements near North Phoenix has been brutally ambushed. Not only do the brigands or brigades hold up the Brahmin, they slaughtered everyone as well. Guards are apprehensive to accompany more caravans, and merchants do not want to lose more goods. The pursuit may be may steady their minds, but their blood has already been dried. We can at least try. Nothing can be done now. No. We already did this before, so now we're gonna go in. We're gonna go straight in. If that's the case, we're gonna pull you off the line as well. And I'm going to use you guys to help take out these guys as well. Because we can. And then we can go to get more manpower. So let's wait for these guys to get on the line. We're not mobilizing, but hopefully we get 73 people a month. It's okay. Not great. Not bad. Ooh, peace conference. Cool. Hopefully we get some more planes. North Mojave. Yeah, we even tried to use these last time. It still wasn't enough. Actually, cut you guys in half. Because you have fighters and payload bombers. Just because you never know what type of... Airports or air bases we will encounter... Which may be large, which may not be large, so. Pain train. Entrenchment is really not bad. Gun nut. Let's go with gun nut since I'm also going to be using a lot of infantry. Maybe more vehicles in the future, but we'll see what happens. Uh, if we're going to be attacking the knight, we might as well do that. Do we have another general? Not really. Might as well get another one. The Centurion Horseus. Cool. A cunning leader is okay. Not bad. Not great. I really would have preferred this one up here, but let's get some more. Recovery rate. One more attack. I just want them to attack, 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 attack. And we go to war by February 14th. So we got a little bit of time, and then we'll probably go to war with these guys. Oh, Lanius. Oh, actually. We're going to have war go against them. Hmm. Oh, wait. We were just fighting against Vekos Colony. Not Lost Colony, just. What was I thinking? Let's go ahead and grab some more battlefield hierarchy. Actually, we should probably just be justifying on these guys now, then. Why are we not justifying? 180 days, cool. I really want to go to war with these guys. Actually, do does Lanius paint the rock red? Have Pecos? It does not look like it. Towards Dog City. Uh, what are we having? Colony. Colony. No, actually, how far do the island do they go? To Dog City. Heal, boy. Masters of Colorado. The Eastern Legion. Oh, boy. To take Texas. That route east? Fate of the East. 
cementing our rule. 50% coring cost reduction for former Legion territories. Oh. Um. Sounds like we might end up going to war with them eventually. That does not sound quite ideal. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens then. If you guys get, get over there quickly enough, that'd be great. My bad. If that's the case, I'm like, ooh, you guys. They're not that strong. Our infantry will swarm them. Let's take you guys and go to somewhere else. Call the personality. Ooh, yes. More defense, 10%. Not bad. Let's go ahead and grab a strong right flank with 15% more breakthrough. That'd be good. And, yeah. You guys. Actually, keep you here. I want to raid if we can. There we go. Launch a slave raid. Right here. I like this one. And we shall send... Oh, crap. Which one was this? I don't want to send that guy. Was it Lucius? Oh, who, who are you? Antonius. Oh, you're not that good. You're really not that good. Good luck. Tolerate settler automation. Cool. Ooh, they get stuff. They get stuff. That's nice. Naval Pathfinders. Ooh, that's not bad. Tip of the spear. Let's try the tip of the spear. Kaisers engage in decades of warfare, absorbing lesser tribes, gathering power, forging the dross into a vast razor-sharp scythe. The Legion's expansion has never ceased, and... That has given him a worthy few to lead the Legion. Alright, so so far it looks like you're probably going to do well, but, you know, it's pretty early on. So, and they can pierce us as well, so, which sort of pierce us. Now, I know this guy's level 1. He's not the best in the world. But he's got to do the best he can. And sometimes, even though his best is not what we really need. Actually, I'll probably just annex these guys myself, since Lanius has nothing here, so... Ooh. Actually, if we go to war with someone else, does that stop our border war? I hope not. It might. Even if we don't win, you know, so be it whatever. Oh, Flagstaff. Cool. Thank you, Flagstaff. Very cool. Development of point two. Money-wise. 40. Almost 41 quarterly profits. Not bad. Oh, select an army. I'm good. I don't need to see Germany right now. I'm good. All right, let's go go ahead and go to war. Which, oh, I can't call them in. Oh crap, that's not good. What? So we can't call them in? What? Hold on. Oh, I didn't realize we could not call them in. So we're war with these guys, but we can't do anything. I guess technically we could navally invade, but that's going to be. Oh crap! I'm sorry, I screwed that up, man. I really screwed that one up. Let's get more defense, more soft attack. Yeah. And, well, we have to navally invade, then we have to navally invade, I guess. Briggs? Probably. Defense? Definitely. And then Gladiuses. A Gladii. If that's the case, you guys begin. Halfies? Right here to invade right there. I'm going to split these guys into two so it takes less time for us to get there. Uh, do they have any ships? Because if they don't have any ships, then we'll probably do okay. They have a crap ton of destroyers. Oh my goodness. I thought we could call in Lanius, but I guess not. Live and learn. Live and learn. If that's the case, I'm pulling you guys off. Ooh, yes. Sure. And actually, if we're at war anyways, let's make sure we do this too. Hired cohorts. Tip of the spear's almost done. Good. Hey, we actually might get some slaves. Hey, tip of the spear. Centurions. The Legion has spread across the southwest like an all-consuming flame. Mighty Kaiser conquers the peoples of the wasteland. He strips them of other tribal identities and turns their young men into ruthless legionaries and women into breeding stock. Unlike the ragtag raiders back east, Kaiser's legionnaires may either look, look nor act like haphazard or regular troops. They are well organized, moving and attacking in large packs, and they deliberately commit atrocities to terrorize those who might dare oppose them. True, Kaiser is a perfect man, but it is not just a man. He is the son of Mars, ordained by the god of war to conquer all earth. To prepare the way, Mars raised earth, cleansed it with fire, and brought back the weak and the wicked low. And now his son has come to deliver the wasteland from chaos and barbarism. To follow Khazar is to obey the will of Mars, to disobey is to condemn oneself to death. But there is a potential weakness. The Legion may, too, may rely too much on a veteran, the veteran Legionnaires for direction and leadership, and a skilled enemy could exploit this weakness by killing its best from afar. That would be cowardly indeed. We get the tip of the spear, fire teams and demo equipment get more soft attack, we get, we get more non-core manpower, division organization, less division attrition, better starting level of new army leaders, 10% more attack, 25% more planning speed. Starting defense skill, little army leaders goes up. Awesome. 
the plan for Flagstaff and Revolving would be good, but let's come down here and we can continue going down this path. The Long War, the Burn Man. Let's do this one. Taking the Mojave and slaying the bear will not be a simple campaign to finish in a handful of days, no. We will bleed them over time, but bleed they will. We get minus three weekly manpower, so be it. The Mojave campaign, this national idea will go away when war breaks out. Cool. And we have a successful slave raid. Awesome. Really, really cool. And, ooh, build roads. Let's go to Page. And slaves to the cause, maybe? I have no idea where Page is, so go ahead and do it, probably. Actually, you can do Flagstaff first. Where is Flaggy Staffy? Doo -doo, there it is. Yeah. Build it up in Flagstaff. Here we got slaves. We spent them Im immediately. I'm going to put you guys over here just in case, too. Defense are online. If you want to read about this, this is usually pretty good, so... That normally is what happens. And... We can do some more stability stuff. Uh, we can save our political power for now. We can't do this one yet because we need more than 200 manpower. And more money, so... Mm, yeah, not much else we can really do here. Even on the screen, there's not much around here, so... However, we will need to get these ships somewhere around here. Actually, if anything, you guys... Make some cutter holes. Make two sets of these guys. Scrap that. You guys are coming right here because we will need to use you to navally invade if possible. And while we do that, we're going to need some air planes, which we have no manpower now. Stonks, cool. Very cool. And we'll cut you down so we have a little bit more manpower, maybe? Okay, we have two. There we go, 103. That should give us at least one guy, right? Because I will use payload bombers. Wait, do you not use manpower? Do you... Um... I'm going to assume they do use manpower. Oh, this is mobilizing. That's good. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. You guys, if you don't use manpower, good luck. Hopefully we can bomb them. Whatever we can find in there, of course. You guys, I don't really want to use you for this, but you never know. One air wings don't have coverage. You both do that. Find, see what you can find in the water. We already have one of these guys here, so... We can probably just use them to lure other people out, so that's probably what's going to be good to do. Scavenge with vehicles. It costs a little bit of money. Only five money. That's nothing. Now, uh, long wool. Infiltrate the NCR. The prolificates of Shady Sands let all who wish to come and go as they please. This is most useful to our Frumentari, who are who will worm their ways through their rotting carcass. Good. Actually, Intelligence Agency, Frumentari, let's probably start building this up a little bit more. Which, we're actually not looking too bad around here, actually. That's pretty darn good. Another division, don't mind if we do. And we already have two destroyers. Great. Should be led by someone new. Centurion Lieber, inshore fighter. That's probably what we, someone we could really use, actually. I'm a little apprehensive, though, to immediately put them in the water, because they have quite a few enemy ships. But if we could land here quickly enough, we could probably do very, very well. And I'll combine these armies once they're together. Oh, we've got more manpower. That's so good. You know, let's cons we can lower it with speed for now. I'll see how much more stability we can get. New reading clear when the Yakuza territories. Cool. All right, guys, see if you can go. Which you can, obviously. I'm going to wait for maybe four more. They'll probably do a lot of naval raiding, which would not be good, but that's okay. Let's get at least one more boat. Ooh. Ah. That's the case. We can actually probably build this up just a little bit. There you go. Infiltrate the NCR. Orbital planning's gone. Camp reads officially. The Burn Man. I'll never admit this openly, but we know he's alive. He's killed enough of his Frumentari assassins that have gone after him. Oh boy. Oh boy. Pursuit. Oh. Uh, if you want to read this, go right ahead. We've probably read this before. A few brave soldiers and their sergeant Germany was fatally wounded. Despite their losses, faith in their protection has been restored. Found enough caps to buy Germany's. A Germany sized golden statue. Nice. Wow, that's a lot more money. And more stability, don't... Wow, that's a, that's a lot of money. Holy cow. Entice gunrunners? We probably want to do that anyways. Simulate, simulate this for three months to get more development to Flagstaff. That might not be bad to do. Let's just... Let's keep doing this for now. Just because... Actually, we have got more than enough money. 300? Let's go do business... Ooh, not business power. We want to grab... Let's get the gunrunners just because we can. Just because we can. 
Because getting more development here is probably a good thing. Because now it is 0.2. Development level value is not bad. From a department? Oh. Oh, we don't, probably don't have enough civilian factories to do anything there. It's fine. Nice. Start of happening. Very cool. All right, exploration for technology. The heads of Butcher's Pete uh, have asked us to sponsor a scavenging party into a ruined research facility nearby. They think there's a large strip of old world equipment that could allow them to develop new processes and maintain an edge on the market. In return for sponsorship, they will share the knowledge gained with us. Though there's a chance of parties deterred or worse by facility defenses, our current equipment should be up to the challenge. Find a leader for the party. Lose manpower and money and equipment. We have no men to spare. We must be on the cutting edge of everything here. Let's, let's see what happens. We do have another ship here, so that's not too bad. We build ships pretty quickly. Let's get one more and we'll start doing some convoy escorting. That might draw out some enemies, so... Oh, crap. They de they stacked a lot of guys in there. Holy cow. North Phoenix looking a little bit better now. Level 9. That's what we like to see. Oh, crap. You guys are actually... Oh, you are already attacking. Cool. If that's the case, instead of the, oh, are we actually doing damage here? Maybe not. Payload bombers. We're not finding anyone. So go. How about here? Oh, wait, hold on. How much air damage are we doing with only 72 bombers? Five. That's not bad. Nine, 13, 11. Still not quite winning the battle, but oh, it doesn't help that you don't have a general. Yeah, they might not be able to break through yet. Yeah. That's alright, though. Yeah, throw in both guys here. Throw everyone you got. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Lanius has payload bombers, too? Scavenger's Triumph? Great. Vehicle, te vehicle technology? Not bad. But it's just getting us more air XP. Yeah, it is. Not bad, not bad. The Burned Man. Raid Camp Searchlight. Camp Searchlight is a major NCR military base, but the convoys to the supply that to the supply of the outposts are vulnerable to attack. We've also learned of nuclear waste stored within the camp, which could devastate the occupants if we were to release it. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Absolutely. Ooh. Smooth Talker. Heavyweight. I like that one. Trumitarius Narciss? Oh, but he is from... Ooh. Ooh, I kind of like that. I want to go with this person, because even though we can't see him... That's okay. Okay, so there's Max and Jeffrey. Cool. Adequate hierarchy. The Noagles proposal. Viala has traded, would allow us to trade for Noagles. They could do more with it, and we would benefit from having another injection of funds. We do not retreat. Crazy. Keep going with this. More recovery rate. That's okay. We didn't win the first time here. That's mostly because we didn't have a general. Cool. Just head on in the water. Or actually on land. Actually, that would be better. So. So, actually, all of you guys, get rid of that. Just go ahead and do this again. One, two, three. So, this will make it a little bit easier for us, hopefully. And now that we know that we have bombers and all sorts of good stuff working here, this is probably one of the dumbest ways I've tried to invade somebody. Can we? Oh, we can invade down there, too. Ooh, if we navally landed, if we just landed around them, that would be okay, but they have quite a few divisions. It's my fault. This campaign's gone. Okay, I'd say. Not great, but it's okay. Military engineering, more defense, entrenchment, max entrenchment speed, nice. Yeah, I mean, I've made a few mistakes, like, making sure that we should have won in that one area, but, you know, things happen. Uh, launch a slave raid. Where do we want to do it? Use Lucius. I don't know if they'll actually be able to win, but hopefully they'll be able to. And of course he falls ill instantly. Are you kidding me? I mean, we're only using infantry right now, which probably is not a good idea. We should really use special forces for this. Yeah, we should, probably, we should have used special forces. By this point, I'm just kind of waiting for the war against the NCR. Like, I really want the NCR to just go bye-bye. Go to the pits. At this point, we are probably going Vulpa Sleep Path anyways. More daily people support. We don't have this. Nope. No. Hmm. Heavy ship hull. Max range. We can make them a lot faster. Let's just go ahead and do a with that one. That'd be fine with me. Yeah. Cancel only, so be it. Yeah, I should I have to use special forces. This is 
That was my fault. Just my fault. I'm not thinking when I'm doing this. I'm just not thinking. Well, this glory's gone. Wow! Look at that! Santa Anna and all them doing all sorts of crazy stuff. <laughs> Malpais. Oh, poor Malpais. Ooh, taking point in Utah. Hounds of Day. The River Wars. To slay the Titans against the Republic of the Rio Grande's former territory to the west, returning to Hoover. Holding the crossings. Finish off the Brotherhood. Caesar Rome. Hail Kaiser. The Frontier. Ooh. Hounds of Days. Fight them. Coring in Utah will be reduced by 25%. That's not bad. I mean, there's so much here. Ooh, there we go. Cure for, cure for the grain supply. Legion marches on its stomach. So why don't we just simply take the corner of the Las Granjas? So basically... Oh, God. Actually, how many more days do we have for this? We'll get that one done soon enough, so... That's my fault. Well, you're definitely seeing me play this for the first time I've ever done it, so... Can we try it again, maybe? Do well, maybe? Most your training. Cool. Let's get some Machete Gladiuses. That'd be quite bueno. Uh, we could use that. That's not a of time. We can't do anything for engineering industry-wise. We get some more output, because even though we're doing really well, and I played a failed slavery, that's my fault completely. In my entirety, I take full responsibility. Can you guys actually force the attack and maybe still win here? Because we're still trying to bomb the heck out of these guys. Even though we are running out of Halo Bombers. Let's get rid of you. Cool. These guys do not have a lot of defenses, which makes sense, of course. Uh, let's go down to five for now. Make even more. Control war. Wow, we are, we are doing very well on building. Very, very well. Let's go just build all the stuff up that we possibly can. Even the two suns territory, that's totally fine. I know we get infrastructure elsewhere through our focus tree and stuff, but I don't really care. I am all about building right now. Build, build, build. Even Navajo Nation, build. It's interesting that we can't build in Legate territory. Or, not Legate. Lanius is territory, but that's okay. Another comment, like I said earlier, like someone said I should like slow down. Part of it is I want to get through things relatively quickly enough so that well, we're still interested in what's going on. Because if, if we go too slow, people won't be nearly as interested, I, I think. We don't have any radar, which makes sense. Ooh, naval dockyards, meh. Gain more, make more military factories for now. We could, we could really use them. Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and just go and do that. Actually, I don't need to call my allies this time. Will that auto bypass the focus then? Probably not. Could you guys actually win here, maybe? Force it, force it, force it. He's definitely learning. Desert Fox, an invader. Yeah, as long as we can keep <laughs> forcing the attack, we can actually probably win. Did I not give you... Oh my goodness. I am failing so hard right now. I apologize, everyone. Go ahead, yet. Yeah. Slight amount of bonus. Oh, we're out of command power, too. God dang it. This might not be enough to break him. And also regarding these destroyers, I might just get rid of them when we're done here, too. We might not need them. Care for the grain supply? Good. Lord of the Pit. Bush Ranger. I'm really tempted to do this one. Since we probably might as well. Ooh, recovery rate's not bad. I'll just go do this one for now. Conquest of New Canaan. Weapons of War. Not bad, not bad. So we can't do this one. We need to own Chihuahua. Uh, you know what, let's go and do weapons of war. The war on the Canaanites have granted a boon to industry and our ally, and even to ourselves as we have to provide weapons for our tribal allies. Very good. I'm not too worried about this. These guys should capitulate pretty pretty easily. What if we wanted to go to war with these guys? They wanted our territories. We don't want them to do that. Can we actually win here? That'd be so cool if we could. Kind of doubt it, but hey, if we can actually win there and not lose a territory, that'd be good. We'd have to spread out pretty quickly, though. That's because I might just do mass... Invasions lost along the coast, probably. Then, let's finish these guys off first. That'll be good. Even more manpower, not bad. And then I will take the motorcycles and launch the invasion. As long as we can get down here, maybe too, that'd be pretty good. Phoenix level ten. Don't mind if we do. 
Wow, we maxed it out. Emerald of the Wastes. For the West. Emerald. Where's that one? That's a new one for me. Conqueror node. The price is right. Earn 600 caps from one node through trade routes. Promote a node to level 10. Nice. Heaven's Gate. Cool. Mm. Subsidized. Business favors. 48 caps. A month. Scavenge with vehicles. Reservation. Not much else here. Really not much else. Ooh, still invading. Invading? Invading. Preparing the invasion. We actually might win there. Oh, if we could do that, would be so good. But we gotta get another tile so that we don't get completely bombarded here. Alright, so we actually finally won, surprisingly. And we could probably make a few more factories too. We ought to win right there. That's fine with me. 12 day, 2 days. Just don't get. Oh, this is what I'm worried about. We get attacked. This is why we need an extra tile just in case. Because if we get attacked, that's not good for anybody. Oh crap, are we trying to naval invade down here? Oh, we were trying to attack down that way. Oh crap, this is not good. Weapons of war. Oh, Ironmongers. Cool. North Phoenix development. Level up the Phoenix trade node. South Phoenix development. Eh, stuff is okay. Anything else down here? I kind of want to keep doing this stuff down here, but... That's okay. Ulysses instruction. Teach the White Legs how to use firearms and support weapons like civilized wastelanders. Let's do that one. Ulysses is happy to teach the White Legs about how to use modern weaponry in return. They'll provide us with certain favors. As long as we win and don't lose, that's probably the most important thing here. When are you guys going to go on... Didn't you have a naval vision? Our friend in, in Mexico, Treaty of Eternal Peace and further promote trade ties. Well, I find much about him rather contemptuous. He doesn't have a, a style to rival... Steel to rival Kaiser and has been a useful trading partner. What should we do? A true friend of Rome. We do not truck with merchants. This is the bull. I do kind of want to take him out. Let's see what happens when we do a true friend of Rome. I did say we want to take him out earlier, though. So we don't truck with merchants. No. Did I not tell these guys to set up a naval invasion? I'm pretty sure I did. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I did. I'll only do two to make it a little bit easier on us. You know what? You can help attack there, too. Help lessen the burden over here. Because we cannot afford to lose too much strength, so... Hey, there goes Las Granjas. Very good. Nice. Now, we can start flooding this area, but we gotta move quickly through here. Come on. Uh, they don't want to do that still, so be it. That's the case. We probably don't need two of these then. Goodbye. Gone boys, just in case. Yeah, I definitely don't need two of them then. Oh yeah, hey, we're trying to naval invade. As long as it gives, allows us to move between different areas. Now we're going to get constantly attacked through here. Good, good, good. We actually broke over there. That's not bad. Do that immediately. This is a stupid way of doing this, but that's fine. Feels like I'm, I'm trying to invade America. No, base game, Hoi 4. Oof. Not great. But we will have them nonetheless. Alright, cool. So at this point, you do this. Everyone go do that. There you go. And you guys, well, kind of pissed off these guys. And we aren't justifying on them anyway, so. They didn't really kind of like us. Ooh, actually. That's a case. Not sure when we can strike the Legion. Not the Legion. We are the Legion. Strike other people. Oh. Hmm, that's not really good. I'll go over here. Ay, uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's not really good. I don't want to do a border war over a river template. That not, that's just not very good. Just over a river, period. Not smart. Not very smart. Oh, we actually got down there too. Cool. They're going to continue attacking us. We, apparently, we have we get enough supplies, even though we have a level one port there, which is it's okay. Not great. Not ideal. That's all right. Ulysses instruction. Cool. And the most important thing, it is. Is to know what ought to be done. Las Granjas would make a fine territory for the Legion if properly managed. The old elite ran their state for the benefit, but now we shall run it for the benefit of all. Yes, yeah, free cores. I don't mind if we do. Oh, the Warren Scorpions bite. And let's go and trade with the reservation. Nice. 
They want to join us. Oh my goodness. I mean, in my... In all honesty, I do want to, like, annex everyone that we have under us already, so... But... Because they won't be a puppet. Nope. Not in our best interests. We are... We're literally justifying on them anyway, so... Not too worried about that. We've lost 331 guys, which is 1,000, which is not bad. So... Oh well, Genta del Sol. Maybe in the next campaign. Oh, wait. So we traded with them once. So... Basically, we can do that indefinitely. Probably until I want to take them out, so... Ooh, let's see. Invest stimulus. Nope. Antonius was wounded. They keep attacking us, which is fine. Don't really care. Contact loss. Oh, crap. That's not good. Field surgery doctrine. Not bad. Not bad. Ooh, 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 ooh. More compliance. I like compliance. I really do. I love having money. But can we send out... Well, send out manual prospectors first, of course. And let's go and do some more defense. Because we're in the middle of it right now. And rescue. Send out rescue team. Oh, they're really attacking us. Nice. We found the expedition. Great. We got... More, some political power back, of course, and some manpower. Not bad. Let's go and grab, not that industry. Oh, we can't do that too. We can't do a lot of things, actually. Kind of sad. I'll grab some of those, because we can. Dedicated equipment. Because it's useful. Yes. Oh my goodness, how many... Yeah, these are, I like these, because they have so much ground attack, but... Oh my goodness. That's all I can say, just, oh my goodness. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Well, did you clear one Piaupok? I kind of want to just attack with these guys all willy-nilly to see what happens. But, let's give it a little bit more time. The most important thing. Try that again. Cool. Three cores. Don't mind if we do. The duties of an overseer. The following are the duties of the overseer. He must show good management. The feast days must be observed. He must withhold his hands from another goods and diligently preserve his own. Oh, pursue an agreement with... Oh, whoopsie. Owns Chihuahua. Ooh, more development to Flagstaff. Increases no level development, huh? Development income plus 35%. Begin a trade route from North Phoenix to somewhere else. Well, that's okay. Yeah, these guys love attacking. Love, love, love. Hey, we got more ports. Can you? Can these guys actually take out the entire country by themselves? That would be kind of wild. But just in case, I'm actually going to send you guys over as well, probably. Just to help hold the line while you guys, well, bloody yourselves with the. The blood of the enemies, really. So. I wish we could force attack, but I don't have enough command power. Actually, we do have enough command power. Oh, the leader is sick or wounded. Ah, oh, he is sick. Okay, we're just now exterminating our enemies. Never mind, I don't need you. Uh, I don't really need you here, then. Maybe. Oh. Oh. Never mind. I lied. I need you here. Take him out. So that way, song from the front. Legionary forces have fought heroically against our enemies, and one of our soldiers has composed a little poem from the front. We can play this with the nation to rally the nation to the cause. Political power is nice. Let's grab some more war support. Because that's always good. And Pandora's box. So, when our men descended into the depths of the research facility accrued by but but Butcher Pete, most of them never returned. A member of the party reports being ambushed by sentry bots soon after setting foot in the inner laboratory. Thankfully, a few brave soldiers made it home. We get plus 50 manpower and 40 units of infantry equipment is added to the national stockpile. Thankfully. Well, at least some of our guys made it home. That's good. Overran those pieces of garbage. You know what? Since you're here, help them out anyways. This is one of the jankiest ways I've ever gone to war with anybody. And navally invading as a legion? How often do you do that? Seriously. That's what you get on this channel. Weird, wacky ways to do stuff. Do you have any upgrades? Oh, now you do. Cunning Desert... Yes, absolutely get that. Aqua Boy, Aqua Girl. I hope we don't have to navally invade again, so we're not going to do that for now. And, ooh. Oh, let's finish our land action with the Legion. Less combat with for infantry. Nice. And less organization loss with moving. Minus 30%. Wow. Ooh. Oh, Santa Ana's going against the Alamo. Oh, ooh. hmm? Santa Ana and the Alamo. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that sounds so awesome. Let's do the Tit and Omaki. I see Tit, I say Tit. The Titanomaki. Well, they say Mexico is the land of the Titans, but even a Titan may fall. With control of Sonoran Chihuahua, Mexico's wealth begins to flow north, and we can prepare for any future opportunities. If we cannot expand west, which we will eventually, I promise you that, then we'll just expand south or east, and we got encircled. God dang it. <laughs> what else is new? And they're dead. God, I love these special forces. Anything else? He's level 4 now, which is good. Which is very, very good, actually. Bakos, you shall be ours. Wartime administration, with most of our administration occupied with ongoing war, the administration of our subjects has been left to the wayside. If we continue to neglect our overlordship, we may run into trouble if the war drags on. Hmm, oh. 
Halo Gliders, of course. Uh, let's reform our control. Yeah, they're already pretty close to free. That's fine. 1.56 political power is not bad. How many men have we lost? Less than 400 still. Even through navally invading and then butchering everyone in our way, we've still killed off 6,000 of these people. God, that sounds so much fun. That's so much fun. I swear to God. Cancel one lease. Yeah. These bombers, while well, they look great, I might choose fighters because actually, let's take a look. These payload bombers, what is their defense? Do they have defense? Oh, do you guys? Gliders, normal gliders. Air defense is three. These payload gliders, they probably they probably just are suiciders. So. Not bad. And you know what? A little bit of a struggle didn't hurt us too much. And there goes Pecos Colony. Thank you very much. And get a Foxhole Doctrine. Even though we're not doing this stuff to go to war. This looks really weird. But we're not doing this stuff to go to war with the NCR. By doing what we're doing right now, it feels like we're just really building up. We're really trying to build up here. Because we don't want to have another repeat of what just happened. Elite Breakthrough Tactics, cool. Actually, Chariots, 10 combat with that is unacceptable at this point. Make it 20, minimum. Recon, chems, eh, chems we might not need. Demo teams, absolutely. You can have the doggos as well for more recon. Can you, ah, uh, we already have motorcycles. I don't think the dogs can run nearly as fast as that, even though I know it doesn't affect speed. I'm thinking like, if we do, if we put dogs on, we could put like dogs in like sidecars in our chariots, so I'm actually that sounds actually really really awesome. <laughs> uh, just in case, we could probably get some piercing too. So, actually, I'm gonna put you to high because I, I really like you guys. And oh, you're six. No wonder we lost all those battles. I needed. I'm sorry. I am really sorry at this point. I am not thinking at all in this campaign. Am I? Just mentally, apparently, I'm just gone. Like, what am I doing? What? Why have I failed to do the most basic thing so far in this campaign? What I normally do in every campaign? What is wrong? Dogs. We're running with the dogs. Riders. We got the dogs on them. Double check. We'll be okay here without the... Eh, throw on dogs. I love the dogs. Oh, what are we missing now? Anything? Not really, no. So, just in case we'll put some more on there, put it up to 5, because we'll need some more factories eventually. Motorcycles, you might as well keep it on there. Get up to 35 for that, that'd be fine. Do that, do that, do, eh, do 3. We don't, we'll never need that much. 5 at max. Get up to here as well, and stop making these god dang things. Cool. The Titot, Titot, Tit, oh my, blah, blah, blah. that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. Tit. Cool, and let's actually focus down here now. The new... Ooh, the new generation. Look, it's honor. Ah, uh, if only. Tank Point in Utah. Not everyone sees the salvation the Legion brings into the north. A fanatic trains an army of warriors to fight us, but to what end? Surely she knows that hounds cannot threaten the bull. On the other hand, if the tribe had better leadership, they may make a worthy ally. Oh, what do we got here? A trade route established. Nice. Thank you. <clears throat> hey, Cult of Diana. Ooh. Wait, they're, they're allied to us? Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, wait, hold on. Upholding our... Wait, you can do Goddess of War and Tribute for Independence? I didn't realize you could do both. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, my goodness. That'll help me when I do another Cult of Diana game pl gameplay playthrough. Holy smokes. That looks awesome. Don't want to forget about that other hole. Don't ever forget about the holes. Yeah, holes. Oh, oh, oh man. Now we need more manpower, too. Land is going to the Warden, which actually gets a special unit. Level 9? Oh, wait. Level 10! Flagstaff is great! So at this point, we're just scavenging vehicles, slaves to the cause. Might as well. If we got slaves, we might as well use them, right? So, we probably really can't invest into Flagstaff anymore. Wow. So, then what? Growth? Maybe? Scavengers found something? Great, great. Special Forces technology. Awesome. Yeah, money-wise. Tax breaks. Even a... <gasps> Kaizo's health has continued to worsen. Of late, he's been less active and his vigorous face seems thinner and paler than normal. This is probably nothing, right? Oh, no. Launch a slave raid. Ooh, I kind of want... I, hmm. Ultimo? Yeah, over the river. Yeah, no thanks. No, Kaizo. Oh, no. Trade with the reservation. He's still healthy, but like they said early in the campaign, you won't really know... You really don't know. Oh man, the, oh I oh I don't want to fight the 
NCR while having a civil war against the other legion if we end up in a civil war. That would not be good. And now we probably have to go recruit an auxiliary. I don't think we're mobilizing anymore. No, we're not, which kind of sucks. But we do get 20% more non-core manpower, so. Yeah. Looking not too shabby. A TAA. Alamo chapter. Santa Ana lives and rides again. Kind of wild, Santa Ana. Ana's depressed. Well, he's depressed, I guess. His depression. He has he has despair. Take point in Utah. Cool. At this point, we got a beeline to the west. Great Kaiser's dream will be fulfilled, and we will bring the glory of the Legion to the masses of New California in time. The survivors will thank us. Actually, we're not going to do that yet. You know why? Because I want to get through Genta del Sol's lands first, and then we'll do that. So the frontier. If we're going to subdue Utah, we need to need a launching point. Let us turn the dead horse's point into an outpost of the Legion and find out what the horses were. Alright, my apologies about that, but there was a very loud crash in my house and I had to uh, figure out what that was, but we're probably okay. Regardless, oh my goodness, look at the warding get hammered. Ooh. So, the goal is right now, go to war with Gentle Del Sol. Then take out the Legion. Or, actually, we are the Legion. I don't want to take out the Legion. That'd be a bad idea. Not Lanius's Legion either. Take out the NCR, if possible. And then have a good time and maybe get Volpus as leader. That's a little bit ahead of time. Let's go ahead and grab someone instead, like... Eh, multi-purpose equipment, because it only takes 30 days. And, of course, we do need to raise our uh, manpower up once again. So we'll have to go from the hired cohorts to recruited auxiliary. We get less attack, but that's okay. That's totally okay. Actually, how, why are we... Hmm... The Legion starts on no training. Waste on survival training. Military academy. I'd expect that we might be on, like, maybe mercenary or veterans, but... I guess not, huh? Kind of odd. Man, the Warden. Actually, they, do they have a unique focus tree before they die reform the state? Yes, they do. Yes, they do have a unique focus tree. Oh, my goodness. Party Crasher. Riches of the Box. Hello, America! The Denver Defense Network Faction. Mission accomplished. Reform the state. Every Colorado state claimed by Warden. Contact the President of the United States and request a new assignment. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. How many more days we got for these guys? Slay the Witch. Ding dong, the witch is dead. They conquered Utah. Might as well, right? We've had an influence in Utah, raiding, slaving, and trading. Indeed, based on casual discussions with members of the Legion, one might think that we actually rule much of Utah. In practice, our hegemony has been nominal. Let us start to fix that. Cool. Scavenger's Triumph, a nice step in the future. Awesome. And the treasure of Dog City. Lanius has sent um, us a mighty ally from Dog City. A majestic hound he calls Rex. We shall honor Rex and let him have the finest scraps of our table, and perhaps seconds. You could learn from Vulpus. Oh, cool. Thank you, Lanius. Oh, wow. Lift tax. Why can't we do that? Military signing bonuses. We could get more manpower, I suppose. There's a few caps here and there. There we go, finally. Daily compliance gain. Even though, what is the compliance gain for nine core territories right now? It's 20%. And it's going to go up right now, so. Hmm. How much money do we have? 240? Not bad. Shop, shop. Actually, we could buy stuff. Let's see. Even though we don't even need to do so. Gun runners, of course. Chop shop. Laser muskets. Minimum opinion. 549. Change. Uh, chop shop opinion by 7. Change. Chop shop opinion for that much. How many motorcycles do we have? And by motorcycles? Oh, just motorized vehicles. 34. 3,000. 3,100. Hmm. There we go. It's not bad. We can buy stuff. Honestly, we don't believe in it. Oh, wait. We can actually buy support equipment. That's kind of cool. And saws? What's our current opinion? Current opinion is zero. So, let's get some sort of opinion going, probably. We don't really believe in common ballistic weaponry. Ooh, even advanced weaponry? We'll just, we'll just buy some. Just because we can. To make it look nice. Against everyone here, we shall do hopefully a good job. Before we do that, though, let's get some, no, well, get some extra payload bombers. Boom, 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 and then everyone goes boom, 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 boom. Nice. 
just in case. Everyone needs at least a few planes, right? Cool. And obviously, as you can tell, these videos in these camp this campaign are fairly long. Pretty darn long. So let's get more flexible designs just in case. Still making a few divisions here and there. So that's pretty darn good for us. And we can go to war by April 25th. Alright, I think we've had it long enough. Three, two, I'm sorry, General, but your time is over. One. Make sure these guys come in. Good. And we are attacking them. Now we're struggling a little bit here. But that's okay. Especially over river, but, you know, what do you expect? Uh, how much, are we doing any air damage at all? Twice in two lifetimes. Oh, there goes Santa Ana, probably. The fine tools, very good. Back here to workshops a little bit ahead of time still. Plane-wise, obviously, we probably can't do too much. Barrage, balloons, air attack. Eh, nothing there. So be it. Specialized doctrines. We're doing really well. Actually, let's grab some aerial warfare, because we can. And just in case, let's raise our conscription level before we forget. Recruited auxiliary. Nice. Oh, man. We are definitely struggling against these guys. How many men have we lost? Actually, not that many men. If that's the case, I'm going to force you guys to force the attack. Force it upon them. And actually, you're losing to a degree? Navajo declared war on the Oh, they go to war the reservation. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. I can't imagine that these guys could keep it up for much longer. The warden, there they go. At least we got rucks with us. We got plenty of ships. 45,000 manpower. 100. Oh, they do have a lot of divisions. They break through tactics and. Ranger organization? Yes. Special forces, really. They may have more divisions than us, but it does not matter. It matters little now. Hey, look at that. I like to see that. Oh, that actually. Since this update, it makes it easier for the Brotherhood to defend on the front line and a computer right there. So, hopefully we can win this war within 30 days. And we're doing pretty well just trying to grind against the enemy, which Viala can't do too much. But to us, we've already read this, and in time, the survivors will thank us. Oh, actually, what's down here? Assimilate any resistance. Oh, yeah, that'd be good to do as well later on. Oh, wait, you're not in the war. Well, yeah, get in the war, boy. Oh, we're finding the reservation, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ooh. I'm not too worried about that, though. The le Oh, yes. Even less combat with less organization loss when moving. Nice. Vehicles. Let's get some savage car. Savage car? Salvage cars. They might be savage cars, but salvaged cars. Yeah, I've lost... Actually, we've lost quite a few guys. Actually, that's not very good. My bad. That's okay, though. Gento will pay for this. For insolence. Force it. Force every single one of them on their knees. To kill them. Not not for any other reason. No. Oh, there goes the reservation. Cool. Good job, guys. I'm not sure how much score you really need for this. You don't seem to have, like, a lot of territory. Los Alamos. There you go. Good job, guys. Good job. They're slowly getting beaten back. And actually, this gives us a lot of good army XP, too. So. And experience for the generals. Anything down here? Gunslinger. Yeah, definitely do 6%. Recon. Oh, we don't have no command power. That makes sense. They have to be suffering much more casualty, casualties than that. Yeah, no. With the, the amount of attacks we're doing, with especially with our planes? Come on, man. You say we have green, but that seems like a lie. Still pretty good, except on bomb gliders, but what else is new? Hmm. Enslaved. Ooh. Less manpower. And this is in where? Van Horn? Yeah, well, why not? Nice. You know what? We got some slaves, and then we use them immediately to do what we wanted them to do. Nice. I mean, come on. 4,000 is not enough. So many divisions here. But once we get a user, ab use and abuse their manpower, that'd be kind of nice. To the west. Elijah prevailed once, but we will defeat him this time. Nothing will stop us from scourging the world of this failed society. This time we will be triumphant. Um, I'm not going to do that yet. There's no way I can legally do that yet. So we're going to wait. Because we're not even close. So 
I should wait. To slay the Titans? Sure. When Mars became king of the gods, he overthrew his father in a race of dying monsters called Titans. Let us profit from that example. You know what? Screw it. You're leaving. If you guys can't win, I'm sending you north immediately, because we probably have to do this. Oh, wait, they're still fighting the fiends. Nice. Yeah, we got a few days before this has to go. Second attack cometh. In nine days. Oh, we declared war on them. Okay, that's not cool. What? what? Why can't, why don't we get a decision? Like, this isn't technically a decision, but, like, why can't we just, like, say, hey, we're actually going to do this instead. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this was stupid. But, you know what? I'm going to clean this up just off screen to make sure that we have enough time to do so. But, hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will be at war with the Mojave Territories. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.